Hey there, welcome back to the At Home Dive YouTube channel. As always, my name is Joey, and today we're in the kitchen making a true southern classic. Pimento cheese is perfect whether you're making finger foods or dips for your pretzels or vegetables or sandwiches. So many fantastic applications. So sit back, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive right in. Today on the counter we have a super simple list of ingredients as you can see here. And I have one large red bell pepper. I don't have pimento peppers, they're actually pretty hard to find fresh in the grocery stores. You can buy them canned if you'd like, but we're just going to use one large red bell pepper in its place. We have one quarter cup of mayonnaise, eight ounces of cream cheese that's been sitting out coming up to room temperature for a little while, two cups of shredded cheddar cheese, it's about eight ounces worth, and also we have one half a teaspoon of kosher salt one quarter teaspoon of onion powder, one quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and one eighth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. You can also use a fresh jalapeno pepper and treat it just like we're going to the red bell pepper if you'd like yours a little bit spicier. Make sure that you have some plastic wrap handy because we're actually gonna need this here in just a minute too. All right, so let's get going. The first thing we're gonna do is take the red bell pepper and we're gonna put it over open flames and char it until the skin's nice and dark all the way around. If you do not have a gas stove, feel free to coat this in oil and put it in a 500 degree oven and blister it all the way around as well. Pepper's nice and blistered off. We're simply just gonna put it back in the bowl and I'm gonna wrap it in plastic wrap to keep all the heat in as long as possible. And we're gonna let the pepper steam for at least 10 minutes. And that's gonna make the skin release from the pepper itself so that we can remove it a lot easier. And as you can see, as soon as you wrap that, the steam starts. So we're just gonna set this aside and come back and check on it later. Meanwhile, we're gonna make the base for the pimento cheese. So we're gonna take the softened cream cheese and we're gonna beat it until smooth with an electric mixer. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add in all the rest of the ingredients. So we're gonna add in all the spices and salt. As well as the shredded cheese. And the mayonnaise. Now we're gonna mix again. So it's been about 10 minutes now and our pepper has gotten quite a bit smaller. You can actually see that the steam has allowed it to start collapsing a little bit. And what we're gonna do is just peel the pepper and remove the seeds and the charred skin. Next, we're gonna go through and chop this up into small squares. It doesn't have to be that nice or neat or perfect. You just wanna make sure that you can get them nice and spread out throughout the cheese. Now we can add the diced pepper into the cheese mixture. And then I'm just gonna take a spatula and rake all the edges to make sure that anything that didn't get well incorporated before makes it into the mix and to break up the rest of the peppers and get everything spread throughout. All right, friends, and there you have it. You can see the creamy, rich, slightly spicy pimento cheese. I like to let my pimento cheese set for at least three hours before serving it. That way all the spices and things can wake up and get even more flavorful. Comment below and let me know how yours turns out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.